There's forgotten animals and forgotten people in every community. And there's people who need help. And there's animals that need help. We're really interested in that link that exists between suffering of animals and suffering of people. Every animal should have access to veterinary care regardless of their family's economic status or their geographic location. We started with this kindness because we have both worked as veterinarians in the community for a long time and there were some unmet needs in the community that we felt we absolutely had to get out and address. We worked in a municipal shelter where we saw a lot of abuse cases and while we could help that animal in that moment, we really wanted to see what we could do to get ahead of that. If we increased our services in the community, could we make a change? Clifford the Big Red Bus. <laughs> Our mobile unit, it's really important for us to meet our clients where they're at. We really started with a specific need. 50% of domestic violence victims will not leave their dangerous situation if they can't bring their pet with them. One of the barriers that victims have to leaving unsafe living environments is that they can't get their pet vaccinated quick enough to take the pet-friendly bed. And that was an easy fix. I'm also a survivor of domestic violence. I can speak personally to the just pure hell that that situation is and the stress and the fear. And fortunately, I was able to take good care of my animals. But if somebody had tried to separate me from my animals at that time, that wouldn't have been something I could have handled. I was in a relationship that I needed to escape from. The WY put me up in a hotel. Good girl. I couldn't go to their safe house until my dog was vaccinated. It was impossible. It was either give my dog up or go back to my abuser. I would have gone back. I didn't have an option. I wasn't going to leave my dog. And they said, we're sending this woman. 20 minutes later, I have an ambulance in front of my hotel room. Good girl. Sally. Yeah, I'm forever grateful. Domestic violence is linked to so many other issues. It's linked to poverty, it's linked to substance abuse and mental uh, health, lack of access to care. And so we have expanded and we're trying to really help the most at-risk members of our community access veterinary care as well as social services that they need so they can take better care of themselves, their family, and including, of course, their pets. Not everybody has confidence in startups. Once we got the grant from the Pollination Project, everything changed. It was a lift for us. Somebody validated our vision, and it started this cycle where things just keep growing, and our community partners keep growing, and people are interested and want to get engaged.
Please make yourself comfortable in your seat and close your eyes. Take in a deep breath and as you breathe out, feel your body begin to relax. I would like you to imagine that you can see the number 10. Just visualize in your mind. If you cannot see the number 10, just say the word to yourself in your mind, 10. Now choose a color. What color is number 10? Perhaps there is a fragrance that comes to mind with this number or a sound, any sound you like. Now we're going to change to number nine. What color is number nine? Perhaps a sound, a fragrance, a shape, a size. What comes to you when you imagine number nine? And as we go down the numbers, I will say the number to you and you will imagine a color, a shape, a size, a sound, a fragrance, whatever comes to mind, no effort. And as we go down the numbers, you will become more and more relaxed and clear and you will feel just wonderful. Eight. Imagine the number eight. And now, seven. Six. Five. Four. More and more relaxed. Three. Two, one. What color is number one? What is the size? Is there a fragrance? A sound that comes to your mind? Now let the numbers go. Let them just fade away out of your mind and be just comfortable and relaxed in your seat. And when you're ready, you're going to take a deep breath. And as you breathe out, have a gentle stretch. Whatever feels comfortable for you right now. And you're feeling energized and confident and ready to enjoy a wonderful day.